Man, the South Estate has such a great view. You can literally see Lake Madison right from your porch. That is amazing. But we're not here to talk about Lake Madison today. No, sirree. We're here to talk about the modern house. And yes, inside there is a secret safe, which is pretty cool. Because you know, I love secrets. You love secrets. We all do. But right now, down below in the comments, I want to know since we're in spooky season, do you guys know we're going to be for Halloween? And what's your favorite candy? Tell me right now. And remember to leave a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Two videos a day, guys. So here we are on the outside of the building, which is pretty crazy. It uh, is really big as it's an estate. It goes all the way around to the back area, which has a little mini bar, which I wish had more functionality, to be honest with you guys. And it actually has open concept. But get ready for this one. If you lock the doors, these close up. So that's a really cool thing to tell you guys right now. But before we get any further, let's take a look at the cameras and see what we can find. Security cameras show the front. It shows the kitchen. It shows one of the hallways, which will make a great horror movie segment right there. And we're moving on from there. We have the upper chill area, I call it. Then we have another. Is that the same hallway? No, it's another hallway. And then we have the basement, which is pretty awesome, where the check is the garage. And then we have a bedroom outside where you can see people coming in. And then we have another picture of outside. Ooh, I like that one. And it just keeps on. Oh my god, there was more cameras? Dude, this place is huge. But yeah, these things light up if you turn the fire pits on. They're pretty awesome. And we got an amazing pool on the outside, which is pretty great. Not as cool as the other one, but this is meant to be a modern style home, more so than a rustic. So it, it kind of works. Let's enter the place and start looking around, guys. So we got the first thing right here of the kitchen. Pretty amazing. And no, all of this up here is not no hiding spots. This is the fridge as usual. I'm just gonna grab myself a pizza, take a bite of that, and grab myself some delicious and yummy soda. Mmm, that's great. So we got a stove and a microwave combined together right here, which is pretty great. But we're not gonna worry about that right now because there is a lot more to see. The living room, I gotta say, it's kind of weirdly angled for the TV. Yeah, it just goes right there, but we close it. Does anything change? Let's see. Uh, um, doesn't look like it. The TV stays exactly where it is. But look at that raccoon. Yeah, look at it. Uh, and back here, we got some bookshelves, which look pretty crazy. But as you realize, the bookshelves are not the secret we're here to talk about today. And I know you guys are saying right now, Dar you're going, Darzell, if you go outside and go on the back, there is nothing there. Yeah. I was just showing you guys, because I know a lot of people are going to say the books are where the secret is, but it's not. Before we head upstairs, though, I want to go downstairs and actually get right on board on everything. Yes, I know there's rooms back here, but I know why you guys are here right now. So let's head back down here. And as you realize, we got some very familiar things out here. Yeah, you're seeing a bunch of the car stuff, which is pretty crazy. And by the way, when you're in the pool, you can actually look down here and take a look at the car you place. So if I was to place any car, I can just do it right here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, we can't spawn in this location. We spawn it outside. Really? Really? You give me this, but you make me bring a car in something. Okay, whatever. Over here, we got the weight room. And it's, it's not that bad, but get ready for this one, guys. This right here is where the secret is. As I do a few reps, getting ready for this, we're going to enter the room right now. What are you going to need for... Huh. That opened it up. You don't even need that. So what you do is you go on here, do this. Ah, there we go. I don't know what I did, but that's the seat to open it up. And that is pretty cool. I was originally going to be using the um, sleeping bag, but that's how you get in here, guys. And it's actually really cool. I, I got to say, that needs to be worked on. Three reps or so to get in here. Okay, I guess you need to work out for your money if you're a criminal. That is pretty cool. To be fair, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't know that was there. So, yeah, now we, now we know how to get in here very easily, very simply, and this is the safe in all its glory. Now you know how to open the door without a sleeping bag, so that's an added bonus for you guys. Yeah, so literally all you do is it looks like you take a couple reps on this. Wait, we have to wait for the door to close. Close. And what you do is you go on here, and there we go. That is one of the easiest secrets to find. I gotta say that right now. I remember a lot of people just throwing down sleeping bags to try to get in there. And no one's talking about that safe. So, there you go. You guys know the safe location and how to get inside of it. And now we head back upstairs to continue the look around. And guys, tell me down below in the comments, what's your favorite new estate? The prison, the modern house, or the rustic house? The rustic house is the brown one. I want to know that down below in the comments as well. Yes, I'm asking a lot of questions this episode. 
And this one right here is the light, obviously. That's one bedroom. This is two bedrooms. I love the wall, and I love the open concept. But you can close the door at any time you want. And then right back here is the bathroom with an amazing shower head. We can take a little shower in here, too. Hey, stop watching me shower, weirdos. And then we just are done with the first floor. So now we can head up to the next floor, which you're super excited about, but I kind of want to look at the raccoon again. Hello there, raccoon. How are you? And now we head upstairs. As I said, right over here is a chill area with a little fireplace. You can just sit here, chat with your friends, relax, fall asleep, take a, take a nice rustic nap. Rustic nap, I don't know what that means. I don't know why I even said that. So there we go, turn out the fireplace. And now we continue our search around for other things. So this is one hallway, and this is not a hallway. This just leads you outside to the second floor, which has a nice view itself. But as we go over here, we got the other bathroom with another shower. And no, I'm not going to shower again for you guys. It's a little, a little weird that you're requesting it, but okay. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean. What Do you know what I mean? Because I don't know what I mean. Here's the next bedroom. And as you realize, again, we got a helicopter. Why are there so many helicopters out? Is someone on the run? What is going on? There was an estate over there. I want to happen to that one. And we got a giant tub over here that leads from there. So basically, the person that lives in this room has their own personal bathroom. That is pretty crazy. And yes, this one reads to the toilet. And then we go over here. We got a nice little open walk-in closet. All the new estates have walk-in closets up here, except for the prison, because that's not technically an estate. Yeah. Oh my gosh, now we move on to the final room, which is right here, which has a little, its own little, like, chill area, I guess you want to say. But it leads around. Hey! Why is there a fire truck in my house? Wait, is there someone in my house right now? Oh my gosh, is anyone in my house? Let's look around. Ah! I see you standing there. What are you doing down there, my dude? What are you doing down there, my dude? Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Oh, there's another person. Why is my estate so popular all of a sudden? Oh, okay, um, that's a little concerning. Let's close my doors so they can't just straight up get inside. What, what are you doing? Where is he? Uh-oh. Oh, he's trying to get inside. Oh, man, I stopped him. I see you down there. I see you. I see you looking at my house in, like, excitement. You want to rob me, don't you? <laughs> I'm not going to let you. But, yeah, that is uh, generally the whole entire house, and I came up here to originally look at the view, but we have a... Firefighter person thingy. You know, let's do this. Open it. Close it. <laughs> Door is now officially. Is he actually still trying to get inside? Is he actually trying? Oh, he is. Da -da 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 -da. What are you trying to do? You're looking around my estate. Enjoy the view from the outside. Yeah, you're watching me. Yeah, I see you watching me. Where, where are you going? I don't even know where he's going. He's just walking off in the distance. What is he? What are you doing over there, my dude? You're not getting inside my house. I locked the doors. You see, so he's actually trying to break in. I'm watching you. He's on my roof now. Oh, look at him. He's doing like a Batman thing. I am Red Man. I am here to watch over this estate. I do not know what I'm doing. I have a fire truck as my vehicle. He has like a whole purse personality now. He's Red Man with a fire truck um, vehicle. And he's here to help. Why is everyone coming to my place? Why is my place so cool all of a sudden? There is no reason for this. I just wanted to take a dip in my pool. He's literally trying to find a way in. You're not finding a way in, my dude. You, you gotta get going. He's trying his hardest. Oh my gosh, this is great. But with these new houses out of the estates, I'm really hoping the next update he has another estate or even an apartment. Maybe the next update we'll get a new estate, a new apartment. And maybe we will get a normal house. Because the estate is technically Robux only. So you guys get to check this out in all its glory. Which is pretty sweet. I wish the bar though really did have more open concept. And can actually use it more or less than how it really is. But now you guys know where the safe is. How to activate it. I'm going to take a chill pill out here. And just look out. Actually I don't like this view. It's a nice town view. But not what I'm looking for. 